On today's episode of The Joy of Editing, I have some really great news for you. Photoshop's brush tool finally gets a major update in version 24.1. This is fantastic. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I hope you're all enjoying your holiday out there. I have a really good one for you today. This is something that has bothered me for years with Photoshop's brush tool, and it's finally fixed, and I'm going to show you how to fix your brush tool today. This will be a quick video, but a very important one for you. Can you see my brush tool on the image right now? Just take a few moments just to look at it and see if you can find the brush tool. Just to make it a little easier for you to see, I went ahead and zoomed in. I did not change the brush size. Do you see it now? If you do, I must say you have really good eyes. And now can you see the brush tool? I know you can right now. Isn't this exciting? Now we're going to be able to see our brush tool. And now I'm going to make the tool smaller in size. So even at a very small size, you can see it. Can you see it as I move it around there? Before, I, it would just get lost and I'd have to shake my cursor around just to find it. But now we can see it really well, even at that very small size. Now, the way this brush tool works, whenever you hover over like a dark area, it turns white. If you hover over a light area, it turns black. But sometimes you'll get a shade variation in between and, and you just won't see it. I went ahead and changed it back to the way it used to look in the older versions of Photoshop. And as you notice, in this area, it becomes almost invisible. But when I move it, see how it turns light in that area? But it's still really hard to see. I notice sometimes when I'm doing some brushing in a grassy type green area, this is where a lot of times it really gets hidden. See, like right in here, you can almost see it when I move it around, right? But if I come over in here, you can see it. Because when you move the brush over a lighter area, it becomes dark. And in this area it kind of just gets hidden. Now that I've shown you the problem, let me show you the solution. You have to have the latest version of Photoshop. And if you come up to Photoshop, I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna click right here and click on about Photoshop. And you can see I have version 24.1.0. That's important, you need to have this latest update. Now, what you need to do is go to your preferences, your Photoshop preferences, and what you wanna do is come down to see where it says cursors, Click on cursors, and all you have to do right now is we have brush tip outline. And notice it says thin. Now, if you click on this drop down, you have different choices normal, bold, extra bold, and thin. Right now it's on thin, and that's generally the way the brush looked with that thin cursor. But now we have these other choices. I would recommend either bold or extra bold, but just go with extra bold, you'll be happy you did. So click on extra bold and click OK. And now you'll notice we can really see that brush cursor. See it there? And notice when I go over a light area, it's black. If I go over a dark area, it turns white. But now you can see it. Even if I make that brush tip smaller, let's make it really small. But look how it just really sticks out there before you wouldn't be able to see it at all. And you'd have to really shake around and see if you could find it, you know? And it was really a pain in the, you know what? But now this has fixed our problem. So now you can just go ahead and paint away. But now it's going to be easy to see where it's at. Now, just to recap, just come up to your Photoshop preferences, depending if you're on a Mac or a PC, it's gonna be different. I'm on a Mac, so I just come up to Photoshop and come to preferences and click on cursors and brush tip outline, click the drop down and change it to extra bold and click OK and you will be good to go and you will be a happy camper from that point on. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this one today. And by the way, Topaz Labs have a holiday promo going on right now. You can save 25% on all apps and 30% with the image quality bundle that ends December 31st. And we also have a DXO holiday magic sale going on. Buy two products, get 30% off. And that sale also ends on December 31st. Just click on my affiliate link in the description below this video. It'll take you to these sales. When you do that, 
I make a small commission, and it helps keep these tutorials coming your way. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like, share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.